Well, that's it. We've had breakfast, we've packed up, got all our gear, we're ready to go. Over, drop off the vehicle, and then go to the airport. Um, hopefully there's going to be somebody at the uh, vehicle rental place, because it wasn't a pickup at the airport for the car to pick up by us and then take it over to somewhere near the airport. Uh, I've looked on documentation, that's half past ten, so I'm hoping that's not when he's going to rock up to work, because then we're going to be screwed. Okay, because if it's an hour and ten minutes to get through, um, get the paperwork done and all the rest of it, and then get on the plane and all the rest of it. So if you don't turn up until half ten, we're going to be screwed for boarding. There we go. Let's get to work and let's get to the airport. So we used 26 litres of fuel. No problems with the pump, we had to get them to release it so we can pay inside. Bit of a nightmare, so I don't know what's going on. We are back, the office isn't open at the moment, so with a bit of luck, there will be somebody here so that we can drop off. That's a pretend volcano there. I'm going to put my coat on. Well, the door's unlocked, it's 8 till 5, and it's now about 9, so that's alright, so we're good. Um, we've got three hours till our flight. Al's gone inside into the main. Happy Campus building. We're in a cheap campus one. Uh, yeah, it's cost us 36.25 to drive around Iceland, so that ain't bad going at all. So yeah, we've had a week's driving. That's good stuff, I think. Nice and easy getting through uh, security and all that, apart from having to take off all my clothes and unpack all my bags and get my laptop out and then get searched and. And then my trousers fallen down and all that, and then Al had to get searched. Hers was a random check. Mine wasn't searched, mine was a random drug test. Yeah, yours was a they random just did a swap. check. Yeah. And that was it? Yeah, it's because you look like a drug like people. a user. I, to I told you, go, you know, losing weight looked like some heroin. Hang on, hang on. I didn't have to take crack. my shoes off, jewellery. I walked through like I, this. I didn't take a jewellery, yeah, but because you look because you look like a crack whore, they swabbed your bags, yeah. didn't swab mine. He did say though this is just a random test, he tried to reassure me that I don't like They it. say every time? They say every time, they're like, you, you're 45, you're not fatty, you're obviously using something. That's what they say. Not me. Clear skin, clear skin, you know, good. Obviously they're like, there's a dude who looks after himself. Okay, eats well. So why do you get searched? Why do you have to take your shoes off and your laptop? I didn't get searched. No, I, I, I had to take my, sho I I take my shoes, my shoes off, take my belt off, it's because my, ba my belt beats. Anyway, so now we're seeing it. Joe and the Juice. Joe and the Juice are, and did you say? We got free. We got free juice. So we got, we got a cup of Joe and a cup of Juice. Yeah. Well, two cups of Joe. Because yeah. the coffee's called Cup of Joe. Do you know why? No. Nor do I. I looked it up once, which is what you lot can do now. There you go, that gives you something to do instead of watching my videos because like, I'm going home now, so I ain't got anything to upload for a little while. So there you go, EZY2296. That's our flight for today. There's people's luggage going on. Got a nice, uh, nice snowy runway. flying out of Iceland. The onboard flying menu card thing looks to be cheap. Amazing. So everyone keeps saying, oh, did you see the Northern Lights? Did you see the Northern Lights? Al says yes, I say no. Al says, this we did. I'm like, we saw a slightly lighter grey cloud. It's like, it's like she's perpetuating the myth that you could see the Northern Lights. It's no such thing. We've actually bought our duty freeze on the aircraft because there was a special offer on Bombay Sapphire. Two bottles, two one litre bottles, £25 or £14 otherwise. So those three bottles cost us £39. £66 one bottle in Iceland. But this is really good, that's like 12 and a half quid. We would have had four bottles, I don't really fat on it. 
We would have had four, but I'm looking the wrong way now. Now I've got Cossack. I haven't drunk them already. That's, they think I can't, I can't see them oh, because I've drunk also, them. Also, you look really grey because the sun's reflecting on your beard. I don't look grey. That's, that's, <laughs> that's better. So, <laughs> shut up. Oh, Father Christmas. That's, that's why remember, White's beard is so popular. Do you remember that year you bleached your beard? Shut up now. To be like Father Christmas. Try, try to peroxide it. Hey, all right. Shout up now. It didn't go white. It hurt. So anyway, so that would have been twelve. Well, the two that we got on the offer, twelve fifty. They only had three bottles on board. Can you believe it? Four. I will have a have a have a vodka. You know, boss, vodka. It's Jewish whiskey. Don't want to drink that shit. So anyway, um, we got them all. We got them all. We got a good deal. And tonight's party time. It, we're so less fluffy now. We're less fluffy. We're back at Luton well, you're now. Well, your beard's grown. Yeah. We're at Luton now. There's a nice sky, just like it was in Iceland. Yeah. Uh, we've both got cold ears to yeah. the point of hurting, which we haven't had all the time we've been away. Yeah. So just waiting at the midstay car park to go home. Yeah. So, uh, Happy days. we'll see you later. Go see my dog. I'll tell you what, that was really easy and really quick. Really good getting through the airport today. Probably the best, quickest we've ever had. Well, they got all the information in Iceland side. Yeah, I guess so. So the passenger locator and the proof of testing and everything. So. I just want around, is that? Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. So, so there you guys. Yeah. Bon voyage. Perfect. Just say that at the start. There we go. Last bit of the holiday. So I've done my nose swab for the PCR test. That's wrapped up in the bag. I've taken my code numbers. I folded up my box. Pop that in there, that's got to go in the post box and be sent off and Alice is doing hers as well.